welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today because I've got another really fun project for you guys. You guys really liked the new Cerberus puppy that I did a little bit ago, so I figured why not stay with the theme and do another newborn creature. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a newborn baby griffin. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on is going to be the sewing. I cut everything out ahead of time and I'm going to show you guys how all the pieces go together. So first we have a white belly for our griffin, and then we have the tail for the griffin, and then we have the main body. The front legs of the griffin are going to be clay, so they're not included in the fabric right now. So I'm going to be doing the hand sewing, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like after getting all the hand sewing done, attaching the stripes and whatnot. Next we're going to be sewing the legs. Now that the legs are finished, we're going to be sewing the belly to the piece. I also finished doing the sewing for the tail, and now I just need to flip it right side out. Okay, this is what our piece looks like after attaching the belly. Now I'm just going to be sewing the tail on and I'm going to leave the back open so we can stuff it later. Okay, now we're going to move on to the clay pieces. I'm going to be doing the griffin's face first. To do this, I'm going to take a lump of tin foil and I'm going to cover it all in clay to have a nice base to work with. After that, I'm going to start adding the features like where I want the eyes and the beak to be. My goal for the face is to make it look kind of like a baby kitten, but with like an eagle beak. So that's the style I'm going for. almost have my face finished, I'm going to start adding some ears to the piece. Usually I make my ears out of fabric and felt, but I felt like trying to do some clay ears this time. To help keep the ears strong, I'm going to keep them pretty small and really close to the face, that way nothing can catch on them and break them off. I'm going to also have them kind of folded in because newborn kittens actually don't have really perky ears, they develop more as the cat grows up. After that, I just need to add a fur texture to the piece and then we can bake it. This piece will go into the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly about 40 to 50 minutes. Now for the front feet. For this I'm going to be taking some wire and using that as a base to hold onto and applying a layer of clay over it. Next I'm going to be building up the clay to make the toes. I'm going to keep it down to just three so it looks more bird-like. going to be 
using my tools to create a few lines to make it look kind of wrinkly. After I have the basic shape of the foot, I'm going to be adding some scales from the toes going up the arm. Once these are finished, they're going to go into the oven at the same temperature for roughly about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, our clay is out of the oven and it's fully cooled, that way we can start painting it. For the face of the piece, I'm going to be doing its chin white, that way it matches the belly, and then I'm going to be doing the rest of the face a nice kind of teal color to match the fabric for his neck. I'm going to do the beak a nice brownish red to try and make it stand out. I'm going to be using the same color for the beak to also paint the eyelids so they also stand out as well. Once this is dried, then I can start adding some highlights to the fur to make it look a little bit brighter. I decided that I wanted to incorporate some of the blue that I'm using on the back of the piece to the face, so I'm also going to be painting a bit of stripes on his forehead. I'm going to apply a couple more highlights to the face after the blue has dried and then we can move on to the griffin's feet. For the feet, I'm going to try and keep around the same color as the beak, but a little bit lighter. So I'm going to paint over the whole foot with one color and let that dry, and then I'm going to lighten up that color to paint the scales on the top of the foot. I'm going to paint on a few highlights and then I'm going to also paint the nails a black. Once all of our paint has dried, I can then resin it and let it sit overnight and then we can work with it some more the next day. Okay, it's the next day and we're going to start putting everything together now. So I'm going to start stuffing the back legs and a little bit of the body first and then we're going to move on to attaching the clay pieces. To attach the clay pieces, I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. I'm going to apply glue around the edge of the clay where the fabric is going to connect and then I'm going to press the fur carefully into the glue to make sure that none of the seams are showing.
After the clay legs are on, I'm going to stuff and sew up a lot of the body, and then we can attach the face. Now before we close up our griffin, we need to give him a cute little baby pair of wings. To do this, I have some cut felt along with some fabric and we're going to glue these all together and then glue them onto the back of the griffin. After looking at the piece, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more blue fur, so I'm going to give it two more stripes of blue on the neck. That way the pattern on the head makes a little bit more sense. After these small adjustments, I am happy to say our little baby griffin is all finished. Okay guys, and here is our new baby griffin. I think he came out really cute. I love that he holds a really good sleeping position, so you guys could put him on a pillow or rest him on your bed or whatnot, and he would look really cute that way. Anyways, if someone wants to give him a home or buy any of my other creatures, go ahead and check the link down below to my Etsy shop and see what I have up for sale. I try to add more creatures as soon as I can, so there's usually always something new there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!